Okay, just a quick review of this Pedalese Big Cat, which I bought uh, a week ago. I uh, bought it direct from Pedalese. They're selling on, my, on eBay, but well, they charge about 20, 20 to 50 pound more, so I buy direct from Pedalese. Um, really like the frame on this. I just like the way it comes up to the uh, headstock here. Um, it was very well wrapped when it came everything was wrapped up every piece was covered so there was no chance of getting scratched but when I started unwrapping things and things like this which was underneath the wrapping so it's nothing to do with penalties this is something to do with the manufacturer right the second thing was this was touching the spokes and when I looked closer, uh, the frame coming down here was bent in, so this was even touching first gear. So I had to take the back wheel off, take the gears off, straighten that out and put it back on. Okay, now the thing is when this arrived, there was not one spanner with it. You need three Allen, different size Allen keys and a couple of flatheads, one to put on the uh, pedals and another one to lock up the wheels. Um, also, when I unwrap the handlebars, you can see scratches on there. But that said, I wasn't going to have it all sent back just because of that. Okay, so I assemble it all. And when you assemble it, check every bolt, every bolt. I found the caliper bolts were loose. These weren't that tight. You have to put on the front uh, disc yourself anyway. Uh, but I checked everything. Even the, uh, the side stand wasn't tightened up that much. So check everything beforehand. Okay. So I bought some aftermarket fenders because you don't get anything with it. It's about just over 30 quid I think for the three fenders. Um, put the right air pressures in the tyres because there wasn't anything in there really. I think there was 10 in the front and 12 in the back. Something like that. Uh, so that was it. So got it all ready. Went out for my first ride. I got about 100 yards and the chain snapped and what it was these links they haven't been riveted very well this is a new chain this is a Shimano chain um, I just had to buy that now so I'm just out on my second test run now um, I like the bike um, it's a bit noisier with the fat tires so you can hear the tires on the on the road but um, yeah nice bike um, Mm, if anything else grumpy about uh, we well could say the welding isn't particularly brilliant but what do you expect I mean when I was looking at one of these a fat bike I was looking in the 250 300 range and to be honest they were nearly all a bit like BMX bikes just seven gears on the back or no gears uh, solid front forks this has got 21 gears it's got adjustable forks and you can lock these so they're locked um, I don't know if the damping works I've messed about with it but I don't seem to notice any difference it's got disc brakes front and back it's even got a side stand like I say all I've added are the fenders and I put a front light on and a back light off my old mountain bike and that's it you know uh, if anything it just comes down to quality the quality of the bike but if you want to pay six eight hundred pound and get an aluminium on this one steel it is quite heavy it's a lot heavier than my uh, steel mountain bike you know it's up to you but um, yeah I think it's okay uh, just keep trying it and see how it goes